Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and we're watching this job video. Today we will make this cool, simple barrier shield effect in Unreal Engine 5. And I will make everything from scratch so you will understand what I am doing. Every step you will learn in this video. So let's dive in. So let's start this. So first I need a material for sphere. So I will just make a material. M, I'll call it Fresnel. It will be just like a fresnel on a sphere. So we have a sphere here previewing. I'll use unlit and additive or translate to side it. And let's just take the fresnel. And if I connect this here, you can see how it will look. If I just preview on the emissive, this is how it looks. We can change some settings here, make it uh, what we need like this. So basically, I need a particle color here and I need opacity from this. And if you want to distort it a little bit, you can use lots of things. Like if I just find a normal texture, like I have uh, water, let me just search here. Texture. normal i have these normal textures i can use anyone like this noise texture if i use it here and just connect this we can just add this here in the refraction this normal and basically this value is 0 0.04 so we can multiply it very low value like 0 0.04 if you want so it will be a little bit disturbed and you can increase it from 0.2 and use the texture coordinate here like 5 or 5 it depends how much you want you can make parameter if you want to change it later so let's make it parameter so i'll call it type this not be add this will be multiply actually let me also check if I can use any other texture. Yeah, this one, this one looks cool. So let it be. Then this is the value of noise. So I'll just call it noise. And we can also use this power for the Fresnel value. So we can just call it Fresnel. So that's it. I'll just save it. Now back to our folder. Yeah. I'll just make a Niagara entry. And it's barrier. Let me just make my scene a little darker first. Maybe light two, one, and this crown maybe this much big. And I'll just open this. First, we need a empty emitter here. I just need one particle, so I'll just take the burst, burst one particle. And it should spawn once, so I will make it once. It should never die, so in the particle state, turn this off. So there will be one particle that will never die, and it should be mesh. I'll search here sphere. Like this. And then we can use our material. Let me just do one thing. Make this local and let me check the size. It's very small. So maybe 20. 20 is enough, I guess. And I'll put it like this. Yeah, now I'll use this material. I'll connect this here. Our right. Connect. I'll make the particle color this 
sphere color may be bluish then we can just adjust our tiling and all so by using dynamic parameter tiling default one noise default one so now noise you can reduce okay and tiling you can increase or decrease and there's also fernel that you can use so maybe I think, yeah, this much is enough. Related it down. Yeah, this much is enough. And if you want to make the edges more bright, you can do that in the material itself. And if you want to do, you can do it here. You can just duplicate the emitter, make the size little big, maybe 20.1. And then here, I'll just reduce the tiling and make the funnel like this and make it bright maybe 50 so now you can see we have this separate edge if you want brighter edge like this so i'll just use 20 maybe or just 10 yeah cool so we have this now we want something on the ground you can use the same emitter, you can use different. So let's use the same emitter for the ground. So what I'll do, I'll duplicate this one more time here. This time I'll delete this and take the sprite renderer and it will come up with this sprite and it should be bigger first. I'll just turn this off, turn this on. This and it's camera facing. So I'll just make it custom alignment, custom facing vector. I'll take the align to mesh orientation instead of X, take the Z and now it's facing the ground. You can just fix this. It's facing the ground but it should be lit, uh, lit down to the ground. So I will just move this from here. You can just put it aside and then Or you can make this effect separately then just put it on the ground on the viewport cool so it's almost there now uh, i want a ring instead of this so let me just search texture here i have already um, something like this so basically this is the texture i have which has three channels each channel has different thing and I have already material and this is very simple material so you can see I'm just adding these channels so it's just a black and white thing so I can use it directly so I'll just browse this and just use it in here so we will have that ring and then I'll change the size to so it will touch the edge of the sphere like this little bit more 432 yeah so it's it's done now the next thing i want i want some shapes on sphere you can do that again in the material so i have this texture this one i'll use it let me make a material quickly right click make a material this is actually text, it's 4x4 four four sub UV. I'll just use this as translucent and let's add it. Particle color that will go here. And this will go in the opacity. Simple material. I'll browse this and first we need to put the particles on the sphere. So for that, I'll duplicate this one more time. This time, I'll just go here uh, and take the sphere location. Let's say it's 100 and let's say you have 20 particles. Okay, this should be smaller like this and this offset should be zero. 
and now let me just make these camera facing for now these are all camera facing and let me just delete this and take the spread render again so you can now see properly so first thing we need to do is i'll just increase the spawn count just to check this face size and then i'll make this on the edge then i'll increase the size this much of size i want and then i can make the particles i want 20. So now we have 20 particles on the edge okay you can also go uniform if you want it will be like distributed uniformly then if you want to make hemisphere or anything you can change the things here but i don't want that so we have these now i want these shapes so i'll just select the material change it here and this is sub uv 4 by 4 but it's not sequence so i'll just turn this off and take the animation here should be random should be sprite so it will using those frames but these these looks fine if you want to use that like this i like it next thing i want some particles inside so i'll just duplicate this delete the spider render take it again this time i'll just use 200 particles maybe and instead I, I don't want this and instead of uniform i'll just use random and the size of particle i want maybe two and one and we can increase the sphere size a little more here so we have now these dots if you want to move these you can do that so basically what i'll use i'll use curl noise to move them but curl noise will keep moving them and they will come out so for that just take the spring force and use here instead of the owner position use the initial position so they will come back to the initial position and i'll just reduce the pressure then we can tweak the curl noise like i can animate the curl noise so now they are moving but they are not going outside much cool now i want more particles on the hemi half of the sphere and now you can do that with in the material also but again i'll do that here so what i'll do this time i'll duplicate this time again and let's say you have these particles let's say these are 2000 and these are only on edge and i want to mask it so there's a hemisphere thing here okay but i want it uh, like invert let me check if it will go negative it's not going negative so what i'll do i'll make this much then i'll go to rotation axis and i'll rotate it yeah like this and then we can make this half so now you can see i want like this much so now on the bottom there are so many particles but this edge is looking sharp so i can go with this random so i'll use this value minus 0.3 and i'll use this value minus 0.5 so i'll randomize this minus 0.3 minus 0.5 yeah so now it's distributed randomly we can increase it even more like this and if you want to kill the bottom particle you can also take this kill volume take the planar and then offset why is not deleting it oh it's deleting now we don't need to yeah now it's deleting so i will just put it here uh, to the ring till here okay so now we have more particles here less particle there 
and I'll just duplicate this one, this one, make the spawn maybe just 50. I'll make this bigger, maybe five or maybe eight. So there will be some big particles, not many. And then looks fine. You can also do one thing. I want, uh, I'll just copy this first diameter and I'll reduce the noise. And for nail, I'll make this much. Then I'll go in the opacity, maybe just 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.05. So it will fill the sphere completely. I think opacity we need to increase. If I make it 1, you can see 0 0.2. 0 0.1. Cool. So this is how you can make it looks really cool and if you want something on the ground you can also do that so what i'll do i'll again duplicate this emitter which is this copy paste you can may also make decal if you want so this is what you have i'll just make this uh, slender location not slender actually torus so we have this torus then I want to scale it on the Z because it has this radius. Scale it on Z so it will be flat like this. And the location of this torus should be exactly like my ring. So I just copy this value and go here in the torus. Go in the offset here. I'll just add. And if I preview, this is here, but size I'll increase. Let me just boost it just just to showcase. Now you can see. And this radius also you can make random. So it's now 79. I'll just go random. Maybe 70 to 120. Some particle will be more. Okay. And then I'll just reduce the spawn rate. Maybe just 500. You can make them all GPU. Cool. So I am not finished now. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning.